do happen. Actually, it's already posted from Tuesday. It'll be posted again today. Dad, what are you thinking? Well, how come it goes um, 50 to 60 and not 61 to 70? Very good. Very good question. Very good question. 50 to 60 versus 60 to 70. I'm treating this as continuous versus discrete data. So because sometimes I get halves on things, if somebody gets something partially right, technically speaking, I counted anything up to but not including 60 here and anything up to not including 70 here. That's a good question. Where, where would a 60 go, for example? That's a good point. I want to add some, thank you for that. I'm going to add some brackets to make it clear. That's very, very good, actually, that. Don't, don't sweat too much about that. But, but that's a, I'm going to fix it because that's a good, good point. Carly, go. I'll say it again, for sure. I'll say it again. The, the only data is you have to have 63 kids accounted for. Yeah, 63. And don't, don't worry about too much being exact. Look for a board or ballpark. 63 kids. The average is 71, the median is 78, and everything else it just has to fit on this. It has to fit on this bad boy right here, and everything else it was it was just this. So 63, average is 71, right about here. Median is 78, right about there, and it's got to fit on that histogram. And when you're feeling brave. If you're feeling brave, I've got seven different colors, at least. If anybody wants to share their Instagram, up on the board. No right answer, no wrong answer. I haven't given you enough data to give you the exact histogram. So I'm asking you, what do you think my exams look like? And this is a Math 95 exam, which is vastly different than a Math 243 exam result. You'll see that momentarily, too. When I say momentarily, I mean 3D. Huh. Well, the, the thing is, these guys are asking the question, why does it only go to 25 on the vertical axis? Remember, there are 63 total students. No, not all 63 are in one bar. They have to add up to 63 total occurrences, so there might be like five here, seven here, eight here, 12 here, and they have to, those numbers add to 63. Does that make sense? Yeah, you, I, I've given you kind of a hint by putting the 25 there, in that no more than 25 students were in any one of those grade ranges. Call this like, you know, A, B, C, D, F. No more than 25 students got any one of those particular, uh, particular grade ranges. That's all I'm getting at there. And you, you shouldn't know. Could you put it like, yourself? Yeah. Put yourself here, please. I want to see it. Yes. Yes. Brave, my friend. Yes. Good. Yes. So. Yeah. Let's see it. Make me happy. that at least someone got a 50 to a 60. Oh, good, because of the hit I gave. Yeah. Nobody got lower than a 50. That was good. So, I'm assuming not a lot of people failed this test. And in that case, to balance, I'm assuming not a lot of people got Okay. Like it. Um... To fit the bell curve, okay. I would assume that most people got an average score okay. in here. Love it. Um, that also counts for the median and the mode. Go so very good, very good, out. very good. Um, because the this is fantastic. The median is seventy-eight. Uh huh. And the average is seventy-one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. For you. I would assume more people got a lower score okay. than over here. Okay. So. And can I, I want to offer one thing, Julian, to put your mind at ease a little bit. I had the raw data when I calculated the 71 and the 78. So mm -hmm. that they're so close, you could treat them as the same. Yeah. Be because you're trying to compensate for the 78 versus the 71, which I love that you're trying to do that. But don't get too hung up on that. Okay. Don't worry about that too much. I love that. That is fan freaking tastic. I love what you said, to make it symmetric, to get the bell curve to be high. That's fantastic. Maybe anything different. Maybe anything different. Who else drew a bell curve? We got some bell curves. About five five or six of you drew bell curves. Maybe anything different. Yeah, they're just taller. 
Just taller! Yes, that's the only thing to get the 63 kids. They can make them taller, but the same basic shape though, Carly. Patty, you have something different? I assume there was less people who got A pluses and more people that did not as well. Can I, can I try to stretch that out? Yeah. So basically, a little bit of a skewed bell, I'm guessing. So maybe like this is higher? Yeah. How's this? Um, that's still around 13. Around 13? So a little bit higher. How about this? 20. 20? And then I went 10, 10, 3. 10, 10, and then 3 here? Yeah. So that's kind of different. Let me see what Mark would actually write. I guess I had one too many. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. The point, your point is taken, though. And I think this is actually, that doesn't run much better, did it? <laughs> the point is taken though, Patty, that that you've got basically a bell curve that's pulled a little bit more skewed than Jolene's, but that might indicate what's going on the average. But still, basically, you've still got a unimodal distribution. I love that, Carly. Um, well, I would think that it would be skewed the opposite way based on the median being so far on the end of the spectrum between... Seven. Between this bar here. Yeah. So maybe yours would look kind of like a mirror image of Patty's. Yeah. Maybe something more like this, where these guys kind of match out, but then this would be about the same ish. Then this guy would come out, and this guy would be higher. Yeah. Good. Good. Anybody else? You're fantastic. And it's, it's just tricky. It's tricky to know where it is, number one, because I had the raw data, of course, which is why those means in MIDI. You want to see what it actually looked like? That. Oh. It looked like that. So I sit at my desk. I put it's not that, but you guys. You know what you guys look like in this class, right? That's what 243 looks like. I mean, I just anecdotally, that's what's going to happen. I'm going to predict what you're going to do already, just so you know. I sit at my desk, put the data in, look at this and go, okay, what the hell just happened? <laughs> so, so do I tell myself, oh, Rule, you're doing great. They median to 78, they average to 71. Golden, pat yourself on the back, doing a great job. Do I do that? No. I could do that, right? I could do that, yeah? I could. Shouldn't. Should not do that. Should not do that. So why shouldn't I do that? The majority. I've got this wonderful situation of roughly a third of the class failing and a third of the class getting B's and a scattering of the other third doing either A, C, or D work. So my biggest concern is this. What the hell is causing this? So in this case, I would scratch the average and scratch the median all together and go straight to the what? Straight to the modes. Because the modes are telling me something. And what they told me, thank God, was that these kids, this was a second exam, I think, yeah, second exam, these kids had already checked out of the course. They essentially were trying, were going to drop the course, but hadn't dropped it yet. So they just didn't care? They either didn't show up. Some of those, some of those were, well, show up mentally, that's what I'm saying, show up. Like, they didn't show up, they show up for the exam, like, ah, oh, whatever. And they still pulled the 50 out of 100, which is like, hell yeah, imagine if you'd study. But nonetheless, they really didn't care, or they weren't getting it. They were in the wrong class, they should have been in 60 or 65. So essentially, what this showed me statistically was, this was a different population of students that needed either more remediation or a second try. And if you ignore them as another population, you get your real estate graphs look the other way. That's what statistics can help you to do sometimes, is it can show you bigger pictures that you might not see otherwise. Is that fair? Yeah. You guys buy that? Yeah, that's the beauty of it. That's the beauty of it. So this is kind of like my, oh, one more thing to think about for the mode. If you have qualitative data, What's the only center measure that you should use? Mode. Keeping track of hair color, credit card used. Mode. That's pretty much the only choice you have, right? You have to use the mode because you can't average or read it. I leave you with this thought. We did a lot of work today. But if you think about it, we did a lot of work on three things today, which I love. I love that. We got into it really deeply. Here's a misuse. Just something to kind of, kind of let, let it wash over you. You may have heard this. Average annual snowfall in Bend is 33.8 inches. You may have heard this. You may, you may not have heard this. There's the data. There's the data from the Chamber of Commerce. And I back checked it. It actually works. We're going to analyze Bend snowfall in this class in about a week and a half. Or the lack thereof in this, in this winter, anyway. Do you think 33.8 is a fair number to use as far as talking about average snowfall in Bend? 
You think 33.8 is an average number. Fair. I, I'm saying this with no correct answer in the back of my mind as far as what I'm expecting you to say. Who says yeah? 33.8 is totally fine. Totally fine. Got it. Who says no, it's, it's not? Maybe it's a little bit misleading. Good. To those of you that say it's fair, why is it fair? For the whole year. Oh, cool, cool. So absorbing all the bumps. I love that. Good. Even the dry spell. Good. Very good. Who says it's not there? Carly, go ahead. Um, because it, you have some, a couple of extremes on the tail end. It's, it's not as extreme as the real estate value, but it's getting there, isn't it? It's getting there. It's getting there. Here's one more to think about as you leave. My favorite bend live. <laughs> <laughs> 370 days a year in Bend, and Phoenix, Arizona, and San Diego, California, and Tucson, Arizona, and at least two or three other towns that use this number 300. I have never seen quantification for it. That's as close as I've gotten. Where is sunny outside right now? Is it? Yeah. Depends on how you define sunny. It depends on how you define. Hey, speaking of sunny, or opposite of sunny, did I see Moonset this morning? Did I, did I ask you that already? 